Hello and welcome to the next edition of Savvy Money Show. As these are recorded live, I do sometimes have lower quality. This morning at six o'clock I recorded one and after uploading it I was made aware that it was slightly too dark. So I deleted it and I'm now re-recording it. Hopefully it will be a better quality one. Uh, it won't be as good a quality as some of the more seasoned creators because as you're aware they spend a lot of money on equipment and until i get all the equipment the quality will be as it is i only have one rule if i uh, inform you of something you weren't aware of or even if i make you laugh please hit that like button uh, if you want to see more videos, please hit that subscribe button and or write something in the comments about which type of video you would like to see and or please write in the back comments about today's video. Please know I am not a financial trader, therefore you what is said in this video should not be used to buy, sell or hold stocks. You should always do your own due diligence. Now to get on with the show. In the last video we spoke about stocks, oil stocks versus uh, oil tanker stocks. And a few, there were a few kind comments about how they wished it was a bit longer. So now I'm going to go into a bit more detail about those tankard stocks. There's been a huge surge since then on NAT. I'm sure some of you may have seen uh, the CEO of NAT on Jim Cramer's Mad Money Show. He's the guy with the savvy bow tie and uh, all the buttons with the bulls and the bears and all the lights and whistles. Now, no offence, most CEOs have a scripted report before they go in there. He went in there like he's just come out of a pub. But he did say a few things. He said he, how it only cost them £8,000 to uh, operate one of these tankers and they're charging £70,000 and you have to tie in for a contract to six months if you're having it per day it's a hundred thousand pounds now if you consider the fact that they was only charging twenty five thousand pounds before all this shows a lot of money however a lot of people have stormed into it because of that a lot of people stormed into it on the back of jeremy's video beforehand saying he was putting 30k into it and Jeremy himself, who is very good with his videos, has come out on the back of it and told people to hold off not and to do their own due diligence. Now, we can see when we do a deep dive into the companies that Nordic American tankers, out of the other two, I said, DHT and Frontline is the only one that doesn't have a PE ratio. That's because they're not in profit from last year. Now, no offence, but I would rather have a company that knows how to make profit. It's not saying that they won't make a profit. It's just saying that they have a debt on hand and they wasn't making a profit. Whereas DHT and Frontline were making a profit before all... This with coronavirus started, or as the Americans call it, the Rony Rona. Now, we we can see that they have a market cap of a billion, uh, Nordic American tankers. They went up to seven, from five to seven, jumped up from five to seven, and they ended up jumping as high as 9.3. 
before there was a sell-off and they went to back down to seven now i think they could at some point go between 10 and 15 but is it worth the risk their dividend has already been cut from 11.3 to 9.3 now a few was working for all the american tankers and from what the ceo said looks like they're going to use a lot of the profit to pay off their debt he said we're going to be debt free that shows they're going to use most of the money to pay off the debt they've already cut the dividend from what it was when they wasn't profitable so the other reason why i think is if you go to most common used uk free apps such as free trade or trading 212 the only oil tanker stock is nat and there are links to those apps down below where you will get a free share if if you sign up and uh, deposit one pound for free trade and 100 pounds for trading 212 however as uh something i didn't this explain before was there's a new app which focuses purely on the us market that has three and a half thousand stocks from the us market and it has all the other tanker companies involved so if you i want to look at the other tanker companies as well uh i suggest you look up stake there's a link to that below as well and at the moment you will get a free share for using a link and depositing money if you want me to do a comparison between the free trading platforms then let me know in the comments below uh, the other comparison i was looking to do was dht has a market cap of 1.18 billion so almost 1.2 billion and a pe ratio of 15.8 now that's not too bad because the pe ratio on a company in the FTSE should be between 15 and 20. anything below that is discounted and the forward dividend and yield showing a 5.82 percent now if we go to the uh, intrinsic value before coronavirus started then we can see that even though it's only showing at eight uh, a price of eight now the intrinsic value was 10 to 12 so it was at a discount before all this rush on with the oil, oil crisis started which is pretty good the nat was an intrinsic value of 6.3 which means that once it went over six it was overpriced it's not to say that it won't be good value it's just that when you consider that uh, dht is below its intrinsic value it's a better value stock now you look at front line now it has a pre p ratio of 13.42 and forward dividend and yield of 4.64 now and uh, it has a market cap of 2 billion which shows it's the biggest company that and dht are the biggest companies dht's tankers carry double the amount of nat nat has 23 tankers it doesn't say on its website how many are free of long-term contracts dht says 23 of its tankers are free of long-term contracts so as many ships as nat has are free of long-term contracts and uh, so that means that dht should bring in more money than nat frontline but they're all, all big ships all massive ships frontline has huge diversity with its ships it has the, the biggest ships to the smallest ships now that helps them because 
they could be making money while there's a demand for the big ships but not all ports can accommodate the big ships you will have some ports that can only accommodate the small ships so when you get to that level uh, those countries or cities rather than transport it to a port that can accommodate the small ship uh, the big ships they would rather just have a small ship come and pay that and that's where frontline will benefit but either way i think the dht or frontline are better value as they're profit making already they haven't had to cut their dividend although nat's dividend is still better but uh dht and frontline are better value when you look at the intrinsic value before this started because until the end of the year we can't really factor this in and out of the two of frontline and dht dht has more free ships at higher capacity than dht so in my opinion it just looks like dht i mean i at first went into nat purely because i yeah, i could only buy it on trading 212 or free trade so i bought it on free app i wasn't going to pay a premium platform just so that 10 pound a month and trading fees just so that i could buy a tanker stop and then when i found this stake app it's fca regulated and it does everything that free trade and trading 212 do and i'm not affiliated with them the only affiliation i have is the link below where you get one share and i get another share the only thing it doesn't do with those two other apps is it concentrates solely on the american market not on the uk market so if you deposit any uk money it will get converted straight away to us money and then what will happen is you'll use a roulette wheel to get a free share up to 200 dollars like nike unluckily i got gopro two dollar share but best of luck for you okay goodbye